Hi guys, welcome back. Today's quick video is going to show you how I sewed this darker colored tail to this lighter colored body without seeing any of the stitches on the outside. In the end, it looks like one continuous piece. I'm using two stick pins and a blunt end needle. Alright, let's get this tail ready for sewing. I have my finishing yarn tail on the side and now I'm going to pin it in place. And I'm going to test to make sure it's sitting properly. Now that I'm happy with that, what I do is stitch in the corners on these flatter pieces. So if this was an ear, I would do the same thing. I do the corners first, and then I go right into the body as close as I can get to the corner of that tail. I'm going to bring it out on the other corner. I'll bring it through, give it a little tug. See how close I came? on the other side to that tail and I can go through the tail the bottom edge of the stitches go through right out the other side and I want to go down into the body as close as I can get it to the tail and I'll just bring it out anywhere where it's comfortable coming through a stitch hole and give it a tug now I can take out those pins now I'm going to bring my yarn needle back through the same stitch hole I just came out of. I'm going to fold my tail forward and I'm going to bring the needle right up underneath that tail. And I'm going to go through the tail, right at the bottom, through the other side. And now back down into the body and then I'm going to come up right over a little bit from there. So now I'm stitching across. Go through the tail and out through the other side. And go back down and then I'm going to do a stitch over. I'm almost done. Bring it through. And this is the last one. Going through the tail, out through the other side. Back down. I'm going to come out anywhere away from that area. Just come through a stitch hole. Oh, that looks pretty good. So what I'll do now to get rid of this yarn tail, I'm going to go back in that same stitch hole and it comes through the body and up through the middle of that tail. The yarn needle will go right through the middle of the tail. You don't see it on the outside anywhere. And I'll bring it out through a stitch hole. And I'm going to knot off right here. Before pulling it all the way through, I'm going to go through that loop and then pull tight. Then I'll bring my yarn needle through that same stitch hole and out anywhere else. Pull on it slightly and cut. So you can see no stitches on the outside and it just looks like one continuous piece which I wanted and there was no special trick to it as you could see it was just keeping the needle as close as you could to the uh, tail and the body and now you can't see anywhere where I started or ended.